Hello, my lovelies. My name is Lovely Like a K, and welcome to Subnautica. So, first things first. I have never done a gaming video before, nor have I ever really done YouTube before. I have one video uploaded prior to this one. It was one about anglerfish. I had been doing a lot of research on the species for a movie that I'm filming, and I wanted to put it out there since I had done all this research. I mean, why not share what I had learned? So that was really fun to do, and after doing that experience, I really enjoy creating content and video editing and putting things out there. I thought, well, if I want this year to be one where I'm happier and doing things that I want to do, including gaming, why not do that, but at the same time, record myself so I can hopefully bring some entertainment to other people while I'm also enjoying myself. So we'll see how that goes. This channel of mine, I plan to have a bunch of varied content on. I'll do occasional vlogs, skits, movie trailers, Q&As, and of course gaming as the main staple of the channel. I want to upload two to three times a week and see if that fits in well with my school schedule, jives good with the rest of my life. I think it will, but I'm gonna try hardcore to hit those goals and see where it takes me. I just really want to do things that make me happy and eliminate some stress from my life. And I think this is a fantastic way to do it. So Subnautica itself is a beautiful, beautiful game and I'm very excited to play it. So let's dive in, shall we? New game. So first off, I have never played the full version of this game before. It has always been betas, alphas, everything prior to that. I didn't play any of that either. I've watched YouTubers such as Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, 8 Ryan, IGP, people like that play this game since its infancy, but I have never touched it. I wanted to wait until its full release date so that I could experience it in all of its finished, mwah, beautiful glory for myself. And I'm extremely excited to try it for the first time. I know I missed the initial release date for Subnautica. It's what, the 29th? So. I think it came out on the 25th, so a few days ago. However, I'm really excited to get into it now. And without further ado, let's get in. Attention. Oh. Imagine how scary that must be to be on a ship, even if it's not a spaceship. Imagine you're in the middle of the ocean and suddenly the integrity of your hull has exploded or there's a huge gaping wound in it and you have to get off or that's gonna happen oh my god i would freak out i would nowhere be near as calm as this dude is oh shoot i know exactly what's gonna happen but i don't like it oh we're gonna get a face full of metal and not the fun kind like metallica either or death clock oh come on use your strength roller coaster out of that bitch also, by the way, I'm not exactly a PG channel. I will cuss and I don't censor myself, so. Here we go! Yeah. Ah! Alright, well, standing in the fire probably isn't the best way to put it out. I mean, I could roll around in it myself and see if that'll do anything. Oh, in my PDA. This is exciting! Booting in emergency mode. I like that it has a loading logo and sound for itself when it's getting into its emergency mode. Minor head trauma. This yeah. Is considered an optimal outcome. Probably a minor this concussion from that sheet of metal hit my face. In emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. I like that directive. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Thank you. Press tab to get in and out of this stuff. All right. And it looks like it's hotkeyed my fire extinguisher to slot one. All right. So, warning. Circuit test failed. Secondary systems offline. Radio offline. Distress signal broadcast failed. Flotation devices deployed. Well, obviously we're floating. Hull integrity, okay. All right, well, let's climb up and see what's going on. At least it's beautiful outside right now. Oh, little penguin bird. Ooh, that base though. You're the only one out here. Where are your friends, little buddy? Unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oh, except for ours. That sucks. You're just like me, little bud. Oh no, you have a partner. Or I don't. Oh, 
Well, you have a bunch of partners. I was just too lazy to look around. God, that ship is huge. You'd think that on that huge ship, multiple people would have survived. If the Titanic is a ship that multiple people survived on, you'd think that something a hundred times the size of the Titanic would also have extra survivors, but whatever. Alright, so. Let's look at our blueprints. We need to build a repair tool. So I need silicone, rubber, cave silver, and titanium. How do I make silicone rubber? It does not tell me how. Oh, wrong! I did that wrong. Back to game. Okay, well. Fabricator, at least this is working. Alright, I need creep vine seed clusters to get to silicone rubber. Alright, so without further ado, let's go collect some stuff we need for survival. Oh, I'm a little rabbit, right? Oh, they're my favorite creatures. Look at him. He's so cute. Ah! Oh, God, this game is so pretty. What am I? How am I floating above the water? What is that? No, seriously, like, what is that? Why is that sticking out of the water? Is that just the top of the thing? Okay. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I don't know if that's supposed to clip out of the game or not, but it's beautiful. The water physics in this. How I just list from side to side. And there's a little delay. I love that. I love it! Ah! Alright, so. <laughs> Enough geeking out over this. Let's actually play the game. Even though I've seen other people play it, I know that experiencing it firsthand like this and watching people play it are two completely separate entities. So I expect to be complete crap at this game before actually being good at it. Ah, crap. I gotta get air. I only have 45 oxygen? Oh my god. Okay, well I desperately need... A better tank. Oh good, metal salvage. Okay, that'll get me titanium. 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 I know I'm gonna need a lot of titanium for everything that I want to build. We also need the scanner, because without the scanner we can't improve our technology to get everything we need to do. So, my plan right now is to catch some food. I understand that don't get away from me, a little butt. There you are. Anyway, it's to get some food, get some water, get the materials I need. I also remember I need cave sulfur and creep vine. I'm not sure what direction the forest is in. Okay, put the peeper away. I'm not sure what direction the forest is in. Creep vine forest, that is. But we'll find out here in a little bit. I know cave sulfur is in some caves that are nearby. Probably in here, actually. But, what are you? Oh, creature egg. Okay. Interesting. And I'll read this PDA stuff, guys, when I'm... Gosh, darn it. Right, when I was about to say it, when my oxygen is perpetually being filled, aka when I'm in my little life pod. I don't know what number our life pod is. I know there were a bunch of other survivors that ended up dying, even though they lived the initial explosion. But I still wonder. Detecting sulfur deposits in the main oh. cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair food. Okay, that was more titanium, which I don't need. I'm not sure where you are. But you're weird looking, and I don't like it. Alright, I gotta get out of this cave system, because I'm gonna die. Because I'm gonna die! Come on! Come on! Oh! Okay. Let's get back in here real quick, give ourselves some food and some water, and see if I can make anything with just the titanium that I brought with me. Alright, let's do some cooked food first. Little peepers. Peepy peepers! Bodily fluids and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. That's really handy because the fact that it just com completely disintegrates the 
Ooh, air blood or silicone rubber. Hmm. Emergency flotation device. That's useless to me. Survival knives. That's going to be really useful. Some more creep vine. Creep vine and cave sulfur. And a battery. What do I need to make a battery? It's... Is this not a battery? Oh, okay. Acid mushroom and copper ore. Oh, and I could just get copper ore from knocking off things of the limestone. Okay. That's pretty good. I like it. And I'm not going to waste your guys' time with all of this farming. When interesting things happen or I have anything poignant to say, I'll come back. Yeah, standard arrow 2 tank. I need that. I can make it out of pure titanium. Yeah, 75! That's going to be so freaking helpful. Good, 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 good. Okay. What's in my inventory? Okay, the creature eggs I don't need. I need to keep this titanium. The water I will drink. The peepers I will eat. Okay. Nope, wrong button again. Gosh, darn it. Gee Williker Sally. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so I put that in there. Ooh, that's good to know that I have that. I don't need the fire extinguisher right now, everything's fine. I don't need the titanium ingots. Gosh darn, I keep hitting the wrong button. That's gonna be a little bit annoying. Alright, so let's get some cave sulfur. I believe the cave systems are down here. Yes, this looks cave-like. And I'll pick up metal salvage along the way, of course. Here we go. Oh, crap! Good, I missed it. Give me your cave sofa. Quartz. I like it. Can I find copper ore in here? Please be copper. Yes. Copper. Is an essential component of all yes. equipment. Your probability of survival Good. has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Yeah, I know, you blew me up. I don't care. Holy crap, that did a ton of damage to me. Okay, maybe I care a little bit. I did not realize the damage was so severe with you guys. Jesus. Okay, let me get this little rock and then. Yes, more copper. All right, now I gotta get out of here because I desperately need air. Whew. Okay, and I know that one just went to attack me. However, I don't know exactly where it came from. Oh, there it is. Good cave sulfur. Okay. So I have three cave sulfurs. That should be more than enough right now. I need to figure out where the creep vines are. <gasps> Guys, look at this at night! Oh. oh my gosh. The bioluminescence writhing weed. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, this is so pretty! <gasps> ah, it's so pretty! Oh my gosh, I love it. Come here, bladderfish. I know I'm gonna need a ton of you for making water. Okay. I see another one. Might as well collect some more while I'm out here. They seem to move slower at night, which is good for me. That's probably my best time to capture them then, because they're probably sleeping while they're going through the water. I, I wasn't even... Whatever. Oh shit! 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 I ran out of oxygen! I didn't even realize it! What did I lose? I lost everything! Oh my god! Alright, well that's how not to play Subnautica. I lost all my copper. It, well, that's what I get for being stupid. Alright, back in we go. And this time, I'm gonna keep an eye on my freaking O2. Jesus. And I had, like, six cave sulfurs and four copper ores. Ugh, that bothers me. That bothers me. But that's what I get for being stupid. And not focusing on my O2. Oh, I can go some more. Alright, whatever. I need to get over it. There's no use crying over spilled milk. 
just move on. I like the bioluminescence of the acid mushrooms, though. That's really cool. Gold. That's really cool. Alright, I see that I'm at 30%. Okay. Up, 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 up. I'm going 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 up. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna make it. 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 Come on. 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 Okay. I'm actually really glad I found that spot. It's a lot easier to know where this is at night because I don't know otherwise. I'm 140 meters away. Okay. That doesn't really help me. But it's good to know I can find lithium, right? Lead and silver ore here because uh, those are going to be really important later on. Oh, brain coral. I love this stuff. It gives me air. It gives me 10 air, right? Yes. I like it. New Ooh, discovered. whole fish. Okay. I'm just gonna be mining up all these resources. And I like that I can get my air back via sandstone. Okay, so limestone gives me a copper ore and titanium, and sandstone gives me silver. Gives me silver and gold. Good to know, good to know. That's so much- <gasps> Great finds! How much room do I have in my inventory? I'm only gonna be able- Move your face, Karen! I'm only gonna be able to carry a couple- You know what? I'm gonna eat the bladder fish so I have room for for two. Because that should be good. Just getting two. What is that? Oh, okay. Let's get another... Was that a seed? That was a creature egg. Okay. Random. Alright, can I not collect anymore? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I can get... Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Yes, they're so very, very separate. Completely separate from one another. There's not a lot of overlap whatsoever. Okay, so the creep vine forest... God dang it! Is that direction. I'm not sure what that direction is yet, but I'll figure it out. It sucks not having a compass. That'd be so helpful right now. Nope, I'm going the wrong... Wait, there's creep vine here and over there? So, this is all creep vine. Oh. Oh! Okay. That's really good to know. It's about 160 meters, whatever direction this is. So, I need to kind of figure out what direction this is so I can do that. Can I swim any? faster, please. Any faster. I am so slow, Jesus. Okay. So it looks like I am... If I go that direction? So not the direction of all of those holes and whatnot. The direction of where it looks like it's tapering down. Okay. I can do that. Alright, I got a bunch of stuff. This is gonna really help progress. Let's do it. I need silicone rubber hardcore. Yes, silicone rubber. Ooh, glass I can make with quartz. I like it. Alright, more silicone rubber, please. Titanium ingot? Sure. Why not? Okay. I can make a battery. Perfect. I can make a wiring kit. Yes, it's gonna be extremely useful. I 
can make... Well, first off, let me make a cooked whole fish. Uh, I want water for my bladder fish, actually. Alright, yes! I can make fins! Okay. The fabricator Thank tools goodness. Are available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay. Yes, the scanner! Ah! Okay, that's gonna be so helpful. And I can fight off the explodey things with that if I'm not fast enough to maneuver out of them. Sharon! Karen! Survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Obraxis Prime? Wait, there was a massacre on Obraxis Prime? What is Obraxis Prime? I want to know more of that story. What happened on Obraxis Prime? That's actually really interesting. And I guess I'm calling you Sharon now because God knows I accidentally called you that. Alright, well, I might as well make another battery. I know that these are going to be super duper useful things. Um, I don't have salt deposits for any of that. But in order to make this, I need titanium, which is super easy to get, and cave sulfur. Alright, first of all, the scanner, I need to... Oh, it's already hot. Key to the first slot. Yes, I like it. Alright, I'm going to eat you, drink you. Alright, that's good. Good, 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 good. Gosh darn it, it keeps hitting the wrong tab. Although I should probably save my game. Alright, I will do that after this. I don't know about these creature eggs, but I really like them. Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna take another one of those. 75 food, oh my god, that's actually really good. Alright, I'm gonna put that there since I don't need it. Same with the silicone rubber for now. My gold... All this stuff I don't need at the moment. I don't need the battery yet either. Okay, I just want a very, very clean inventory for when I go into here. Alright, so this is the direction probably I need to go to get into the cave systems for cave sulfur. Rebreather! I actually really need to make a rebreather, but I think I need to be able to scan the blueprints for that. I don't think it's something I get in the game on its own own. Gary Fish, come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, I gotta get out of this cave system, though. So let's go this way. Go up, 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 up and out. Thank you, air. Alright. Back in. Back into hell we go. After I pick this up. I can scan the limestone chunks. Oh, that's kind of nice. <gasps> What's this? Oh, brain coral! Yes! This stuff is awesome. Alright. What's in here? What's in here? <gasps> Sea Glide Fragment! Yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes! Everything's getting scanned. You get a scan, and you get a scan, and you get a scan! You get a scan! Come here. Table coral, huh? I know I need... Let me finish scanning you, and then I will get a sample of you, because I know that I need you. Can I not assault you? Oh, frickin' it's right click, not left click. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. My character knows how to frickin' use a knife, I just didn't. Alright, so I got table coral samples. Where's that brain coral? It's about my... There we go. I'm not gonna die, guys. I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay, good. Does the brain coral sample do anything for me? I don't think it does. Okay. I probably just picked it up for no reason. Okay. Wait, 
What's in here? Oh, that was where I got the seagull lights at. Okay, seagull light fragment. Come here, you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Nah, I didn't get it. I'm pretty bad with this thing. Let's go back to the scanner. Come here, Gary Fish. I scanned the peeper. Bladder fish I have not scanned. Come here, you. Or these boomerang things. Oh, that's exactly what they're called. And I got it. Ha ha ha, I like it. Alright. The writhing weed. Okay. There's a lot of things to scan in this game. I bet you they hide a ton of the lore in... Frick, my oxygen. I bet you they hide a lot of the lore inside those entry data... Uh, entry data things. That way, it makes you kind of immerse yourself in the game better. At least that's what I would do if I were developing a game. I would hide some of the information, not just through progression of the story, but in the environment and in detailed logs, all things like that. Come here, Rabbit Ray, you're my favorite. I want to scan you. Let me scan you to completion! There we go. I wish I could hang on to you and ride you like a dolphin! I like you! Okay. Anyway, did I get the cave sulfur? I did not. Alright, well that was my entire mission, and I'm failing hardcore at it, so let's actually do that. I only have 15 health, or air, I need to go up. Oxygen, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Alright. You know, there's probably caves between here, if I'm gonna be attacked by these come out and get me peoples, then I need to have my knife out. Yes. Dang it. Alright, well, whatever. I got- I got the cave sulfur. Alright. Well, they explode themselves, and that makes me kinda happy. Yes! I got more. Perfect. Um... Oh, and I'm over here by more coral samples. Good, 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 good. What are you? It was telling me to cut, cut creep vine with a knife. New blueprint synthesized. What can I? It wants me to make a creep vine. Is that what it's telling me? Like, hold on a sec. Creep vine sample blueprint. What does it want me to make with this? Mobile vehicle bay ingredients unknown. Pathfinder tool. I need five creep vines. Deploys holographic pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate places. Max of 20 discs per path. Actually, that'd be pretty helpful because I get lost extremely easily. So I just need five samples. And I have a pretty um, open inventory. Okay. I'm right here. So yeah, let's do it. Get my scanner out. Scan these things. Scan, 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 scan. Boop! I need to get to this great coral, actually. Alright, come on. Help me out here. Come on, brain coral. Thank you. Alright, chill out here for a minute. So I have my samples. I have table coral, I have cave sulfur, I have some fish, some other stuff for some more glass. I think I'm good. What I really need to do is find the other half of that sea glide so I can fabricate one because that's going to help me be so much faster. Maybe it's down here, which I would absolutely love. Are you what I need? Mobile vehicle bay. I mean, you're definitely something I need, just not exactly what I'm looking for right now. I need some more wreckages so I can find boxes. Are you it? Ugh, you're not what I need. 
I am not sure what you are. Oh, you're the freaking hoverfish. Alright. Cool. It's getting dark, and I... Wait, what the fuck is that noise? I don't want to be out in the sea alone at night. Oh, crap, no I don't. Jesus. Oh, you gastropods are so pretty. Or gasopods? Gasopods? I can't remember. I need to scan you, actually. Hold on. What are you? You are a guest pod. <laughs> Alright. Get out of that. Come here, blood fish. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, back in the safe shallows. That makes me happy. <laughs> Alright. I want to find the other half of that sea glide. Because that'll really, really help me out. And getting around, I can quickly zip over to the creepvine forest, and then I can zip right back to my. Does it tell me what number this is? Number five. The Jackson Five? I'm gonna call you Jackson. Help me get back to Jackson, so. There is that. Oh, alright. So, let's go to the fabricator here. I know for tools. Yes, Pathfinder. That's what I want to make. Hopefully that's useful for me because I get lost very, very easily. And I know that this game gets extremely tough but flavorsome. Dehydrating but keeps well. Dehydrating, dehydrating, dehydrating but keeps well. Alright, again, I'd rather turn the bladderfish into water. Which I actually need to eat. I need to turn the Gary fish into food. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. <laughs> disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. All right. Thank you for that advice. Fiber mesh! Creep vine sample. Strong natural fibers. I can make more glass. So I make fiber mesh with the sample. I knew I need copper wire for some things. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting. So I really want to make the sea glide, but I know I can't at the moment. High capacity. So I need two glass, which I have. Titanium and silver ore. I really want the high capacity tank. I don't need any of the rest of this. So this is my next goal. I need to get the sea glide and I want the high capacity O2 tank before this episode ends. Because I need to get some progress going here. So, glass, do I, I thought I had two of those. I just made some. I do, I have it in my other, my other thing. All right, I'm gonna quick find that. Charge 100% deploys holographic pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate places. Max of 20 discs per path. Hmm. Alright. 23 food. 12 food and 4 water. Wow. 12 food, 4 water. 22 food! Dang! Alright, so the Gary fish suck compared to the rest of this stuff. My goodness. Alright, and then I had water. A table core sample I know is extremely useful. And I have this other stuff, although it takes up a lot of space, which I am not very happy about. But that's okay, because I had the glass. I know I need that. I know I need to put the cave sulfur and other stuff in here. Take you out. Drink you. Um, I don't really need the flares for anything. Okay, I know I needed the two glasses. Okay, what was it that I needed? Hold on. I needed the glass, titanium I can get, silver ore I can get in the caves. Okay, let's do that real quick. And hopefully we can find a 
sea moth, or sea moth, we're not even there yet, sea glide fragment along the way. Alright. Shit, 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 No, 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 no. Okay, well, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. If that wasn't you, then where did you come from? I, I got lead. Great, that's not what I'm looking for right now. Alright, come on. Okay, but where did I get you? Where did where did you come from to attack me? I don't understand where these creatures are coming from to attack me unless they just really don't like me and are fabricating from thin air. Which, I mean, very well could be. It could be doing that to spite me just because it doesn't like me, and I wouldn't be surprised by that. Buckle in! Buckle in, guys. It's gonna be a good immersive experience. <gasps> I need that. Metal salvage. I'm gonna scan you before I pick you up. Now you're mine. Hello, gas pods. I'm gonna get that. Don't hurt me with your gassy assy. Got it. Crash fish. I scanned it though. I scanned it. Thank God it didn't take forever to scan. Otherwise, I would not be able to. Get that, I don't have enough health for that crap. Alright. I need to collect the cave sulfur because I didn't get just get attacked by that only to be scanned, I'll tell you that much. Crap, 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 crap. Dang it! This is not what I need. Ah, fuck off, crash fish! That hurt! Stop it! Yep. Freaking Luli. I don't like it. Oh, are you what I need? No, you're not. Stop hurting me. God, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm going to die. I'm absolutely going to die. That's just gonna happen. Alright. I'm not dying twice in one episode. I'm not that bad at games, I promise! I'm really not! Oxygen's gonna be a thing of the past once I get my high capacity oxygen tank, I'll tell you what. Alright, so there wasn't any in here. That's where I just came from with all those crash fish using me as a testing dummy. I really could use some sandstones. <gasps> yes! Silver! Yes! Are there any other ones? Any other silver stone? Any other silver stone anywhere? Silver stone! Silver stone, sandstone. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Alright, so I can get salt deposits here at the creepervine forest. That's good to know. But I want to know if there's any more sandstone on these rocks. Metal salvage. I can't pick that up because. Oh, I didn't realize that was so full. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of oxygen. Alright. So I've got a good amount of resources. I think I only needed one silver. So that's really good because since I only need one silver, I should be able to make my oxygen tank. I didn't want to deconstruct my wiring kit because I know I'm going to need that for other things. I think. The sea glide requires me to have a wiring kit in order to fabricate it. So I really just want to keep that for the other one. But that's assuming we find the second half of it. Which I plan on doing. I know that the sea glide fragments... I found one by that brain coral sample, but I have a feeling I'm going to be able to find the rest in that creep vine area. I just have to be very careful not to get in the way of those long shark with long snouts that go snappy snap snap and break your neck. Yes, those things. And I really need to use that. However, 
first things first. Let's use some copper just so I can make some space in my inventory. So I can then open you, open you, go here, use you. Oh, look, I'm so much better now. Yes. All right, so I w from 75 to what? To 135. Yes. I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. Okay. I have all the things for that. I only had one gold because I only found one gold and one silver when I was at those caves. So I really... Rebreather. Wiring kit conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. <gasps> I need that! Okay, in order to do it, I need a wiring kit and fiber mesh. Why did I just now learn how to make that? I don't understand that at all. Okay. In order to make fiber mesh, I need two cubefine samples. Which I can totally do. And I have a wiring kit. Alright, so I have a computer chip. Oh, I can make an advanced wiring kit. Which requires a computer chip, a wiring kit, and two more gold. However, I am perfectly fine putting the computer chip in there. I just need the wiring kit. So I need more gold. Which means I need to be nighttime to find that bioluminescent cave to get more gold and silver. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to put this stuff in here because I'm going to probably eat it. I don't need these creature eggs, and they're taking up a lot of space in my inventory. Same with the brain. I'm actually going to save right now. Same with the brain coral samples. So I'm going to dump those off because they're just taking up way too much valuable space. So, let's drop these. No, 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 no. I dropped the wrong one. Gosh darn it. Because I really need... No, no, no. Where'd you go? 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 Oh, it has an embryo inside. That's interesting. Alright, well, I can no longer fight the creep vine. However, I like it. It's getting dark because that means I'm gonna be able to find the bioluminous cave to get the gold and silver that I need. No, it's getting lighter. Oh, I missed the night! No! I just missed night. <sighs> well, slap me in the face and call me Judy because that's not what I wanted. A veined nettle. Interesting. God, that's so beautiful. I would pick that and make a fan out of it. Yes, sandstone. Yes. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by five hundred percent. I just start the new week. Is it Monday now? Whoa! What happened there? Did you guys see that? I clipped through the wall. Okay, even though this is a fully released game, there's still gonna be some problems with it, of course. However, God, this tank, this high capacity O2 tank is a lifesaver. <laughs> I know you should know because I died because of my lack of oxygen and stupidity. But this helps me have a larger margin of error for my stupidity so I can be more stupid because of this O2 tank. And I appreciate that immensely. Anything that allows me to be more dumb is something I quite enjoy. Having that rebreather will help me find the second half of the sea glide. So, I mean, all these things stack on top of themselves, and that's something I really like about this game, is that even if you aren't making the most progress in the world, the things that you are able to make and that you do make will help you to reach the points of the game, or the areas of the game in this case, that you do need to reach in order to make significant progress. And the sea glide is that next step. Yes, rebreather. Get on my face. Perfect. Conserves oxygen while diving deeper, so I'll be able to stay underwater longer. It doesn't increase my capacity for my oxygen, which you can see in the lower left hand corner, it's still 135. However, I won't run out of air as quickly, which is very significant. Ugh, I keep doing that. Sorry guys, that's one of the things, I mean, the high capacity O2 tank lets me be stupider, but it doesn't help me from my button switching between escape and tab on accident. Mm. Oh, I never got to try this! Let's do it! I mean, we're right here. How does this work, exactly? Oh, can I reclaim it? Clear nodes. Oh! That's kind of cool. Alright, well, let's do that. Let's make our way over to the creep vine. Because I don't have a compass yet, so this is going to be the next best thing to a compass. 
because I will tell you what, I get lost like nobody's business. So this is going to be extremely helpful. Come here, you boomerang. You're actually good food. All right. Gas pods. They're also a really good indicator of the creepvine forest because they all seem to culminate near the precipice of the safe shallows and other biome of the creep vines. Come here, bladderfish. Am I right? <gasps> I am. Alright, so let's put it right here. There we go. Boom. Perfect. Ooh, that's the thing I was talking about. That, uh, long nose stalker thing. I think that's what they're called, stalkers. I know they love to play with metal salvage. There's a bunch of metal salvage around here that they pick up and play with like toys. However, I am not here for that. It would probably behoove me to stay above the stuff and look for the boxes below me. The creep vines are luminescent, which is nice because it helps me see without a flashlight. Ooh, I did not realize I was so close to these dudes. Alright. Well, they don't seem to be bothering me, which is nice. <gasps> oh, please have the sea light in it. Please have the sea light in it. Please have the sea light in it. 30 seconds. I can't even see. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna buy a vehicle bay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's not exactly what I need. But it's still extremely important because you can't have a sea moth without the mobile vehicle bay. So I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And we need the sea moth in order to explore the aurora later on. Uh, still. Why are you sparkling? No, seriously, why are you sparkling? Are you magical? Are you magical, peeper? What are you? Oh, fuck! Oh, good, there's a... brain coral right here. <gasps> no! No, 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 PDA. I didn't know freaking mesmers were down here. Where is it? Where'd it go? <gasps> there it is! No, 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 no. I'm looking away, I'm looking away, I'm looking away. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. That was a lot of things going on, Sharon. A lot of things. I'm swimming to the surface for air. Hold up. I also need to eat something. Let's eat some lot of fish and a boomerang. Ooh, I did not realize that took away my water. Okay. Obviously, I'm just not allowed to find the sea glide. That's fantastic. What are you? Oh! You're a sand shark, but you're... green? And moving really fast. Alright, I'm way too far away. I should not be this far through the creepvine forest without a sea moth or a sea glide or anything like that. I'm actually surprised we found a mesmer. Those things are crazy. We have a lot of PDAs to go through. I probably won't finish them in this episode. I'll actually do them at the beginning of the next episode. Anyway, I'll see you guys back at Jackson. Water, 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 water. All the water. I think I only have two bladder fish, to be honest. But that's enough for me. Vital signs stabilizing. I used the Pathfinder tool and I didn't even see it on the map anywhere. So maybe placing it low to the ground wasn't actually a good idea because then I could only see it if I'm in that direction anyway. <sighs> Whatever. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I appreciate you coming on this journey with me and starting off this episode with my company. So we did a lot today. We got a high capacity air tank. We got a rebreather. We got wiring kits. We got 
copper wire, ingots, glass. We got a bu we got a bunch of stuff done. However, we still need to get that sea glide, and we did find the mobile vehicle bay fragments, but not the sea glide fragments. So I don't think they're in the creepvine forest. I'm looking in the wrong location. I found the other one completely separate from that location. So I think I just need to search the safe shallows a little bit better and I'll find it. Anyway, we'll be doing that in the next episode. So if you like this, then please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Click the annotation to the size of this video and subscribe so you can see much more of my Subnautica adventures and whatever other myriad content that I have uploaded to the channel as the weeks and days go by. And I will see you guys, you beautiful, beautiful people, in the next episode. So, goodbye my lovelies.